We're here in the city of Adana, where the local hospital is running at capacity with 90% of the 1,600 beds occupied by victims of the earthquake. Doctors and nurses inside tell us they're seeing absolutely horrific injuries, amputations, crush wounds, and more than 50 children who are so-called anonymous children. These are children who were found on their own in the rubble, and they have no idea who their parents or family members are. They're working frantically to try and identify them based on where they were found to see if they have any living relatives who can now care for them. Inside, we met a four-year-old girl who was trapped for more than 80 hours under the rubble. She had significant bruising and burns. Her grandmother tells us that her harrowing escape was miraculous. The little girl's father and brothers are dead. Her mother is in intensive care, and that's the type of thing we're seeing here. The doctors and nurses also tell us that they themselves are homeless. Many of them are actually sleeping inside the hospital, sleeping in their offices and in any corner of the building that they can find. But they say they are committed to treating every single patient, and they continue to receive more and more of them by air and by ambulance every single hour. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Adana, Turkey.